Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Ryder, a consultant audiologist and director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed wax scope, which we're hoping to launch um, in December 2022, so not too long uh, away. If you are interested, please do feel free to email info at clearwax.co.uk. So we had a patient who attended with bilateral, fully occluding, dry, hardened earwax and dead skin. This is the patient's right ear. This is the narrower ear of the two. I actually performed the procedure in the left ear first, but uh, because this ear was narrow, a bit more interesting, I decided to, to swap the order around. And you can see just how narrow this patient's ear canal is. This is probably uh, around a centimetre into the ear canal. And the suction probe just about enters now the speculum we could push it in a bit further but then we'll be making to touch in the wax and but by pushing the speculum a bit further we probably wouldn't be able to stretch this ear any further because the narrowing is not typically at the entrance it's a bit further in and most ear speculums are designed to go about a third of the distance into the ear because if it goes any further than a third of a distance it will be come in contact with the bony part of the ear canal which would be quite uncomfortable for the patient so um I'm just now going to use a hook and you can see how I'm reorientating the hook to get into the narrowing and then I'm going to turn the hook just like a, uh, a locking a key, a key in a lock and it's embedded itself within the wax plug and I've managed to extract it. So the ear canal's clear, just some dead skin just here at the entrance. You can see we just changed the focus to visualise on that and there's some on the posterior canal wall. And despite the narrowing, we're still able to visualise the eardrum. You'll see that in a moment. Uh, the wax has got great magnification and we can, of course, adjust the focus easily to get a clear image of the eardrum, even if it is really deep in the distance. So it's just a bit of skin that's being a bit stubborn. You can see it's quite reflective, dead skin is. So I'm just going to stretch the ear open as much as possible. I can't go any further than that in the ear. But nonetheless, we can adjust the focus and we've got a good view of the eardrum there. You can see, you can see the blood vessels. Uh, that's supplying the nutrients and blood and oxygen to the hammer bone. There we are. Yeah, so now you can even see, you can see the light reflex there. So really happy with that. And we're going to move on to the patient's left ear. This ear was a bit wider, as you can see. Although they did have... Uh, uh, the, the roof of the ear canal was slightly dipped in this case, so the cartilage is obviously weakened in this particular patient's ear, which is causing it in the right ear to narrow. And in this left ear, the, the roof of the ear canal was slightly drooped because the cartilage is just coming down. You'll see, I have a better view of it once we remove this. So again, it's really dry, crusted wax and skin. bit difficult sometimes to get a suction grip when it's really dry so olive oil spray can help it just helps to soften the surface of this wax and skin a little bit because I wasn't getting a good suction grip there initially the sucker wasn't suctioning the wax and keratin is actually pushing it a bit further so you have to be careful um, when it's really dry and coarse wax like this because you can inadvertently push it further in so I just put a square of oil in here. That's just changed the consistency. It's going to help me get a suction grip. It's just a piece of skin at the roof of the ear canal. It's going to peel that way first. So I'm using our 4.25 millimeter specular. There is a smaller one, 3.5 millimeter as well. Um, there's no need for me to use that even in the right ear because that wouldn't have fitted even the smaller specular. wouldn't have gone that deep and wide in the mid portion of the patient's right ear. So the 4.25 was fine. So... You can see with the oil, it just helps us get a better suction grip. So we've got a bit of wax a bit deeper now. So this is probably half a centimetre away from the eardrum. So it's a lot deeper. You can see the eardrum, the distance, the blue tinge on the, um, around two, two o'clock. So again, I just want to make sure I get a good suction grip here. And the skin came out a long tail. There we are. Now you may be able to see the the dip on the patient's roof of the ear canal. So we're just going in, I'm stretching the ear open. Just at the top there, the ear canal, it dips down and then it goes back up again. So you just can't fully see the short process of the malleus. I think you will be in a minute. I'm just going to see if I can stretch it a bit more. Just see the short process there now. 
but again you've got a really magnified view of the ear and just stretching and straightening the ear you can see the blood vessels once more so that's the the lump of wax I moved from the patient's first right here with the ear hooks uh, it gives you some perspective there I hope you enjoyed that video and if you are interested in the wax scope please do or indeed our eye clear scope the endoscope please do email info at clearwax.co.uk thank you bye